Good morning, Weasel. First day in the new truck. How's it feel? It feels... It feels... Awesome, man. Look, I got a window. You do? That is awesome. Look at this. I still got to organize all that up there. And that's going to be like that probably for a couple of days, guys. Every day, I'm going to take a little bit of time and organize a little bit more as we go down the road. This seat is something to get used to. Because when you sit on it, it goes all the way down. So it's easy to get past the steering wheel. But you stay sitting in it. And it lifts you back up to where you set it to be. So it keeps you at the, the exact perfect level. It's amazing. So I just stocked up my fridge here. We're at the Walmart in Dryden. Uh, this fridge is actually pretty awesome. I've got to do some cleaning of it yet. So some of the shelves aren't in there, but I've got a little freezer. I've got plenty of room in there. It's at least twice the size as my other fridge in the Volvo. Once again, much better. What's rattling over here? Got some new water. I got a really, uh, it's gonna take me a few days to get this whole thing cleaned up because I also gotta, you know, work at the same time. I can't just spend all day cleaning and organizing. Gotta work a little bit, organize a little bit. Work a little bit, clean a little bit. Work a little bit more, go to bed. Get up, work some more, then clean a bit. You know, it's gonna take like, it's gonna take a week for me to get this truck the way exactly I want it. Everything's still all over the place. It's all just chaos, it's just a big mess. But we'll get there. So it's time to get on the road. We have eight and a half hours to drive today. Oh, I gotta call my customer, let him know I'll be there in the morning. Uh, we'll be there tonight, but we'll deliver in the morning. Where's my shades? Where did I put, I don't even remember where I put my shades. They up here? Aha, uh -huh, there you are. One second. One second, I just gotta use both hands. Oh, wait for it. Oh. Now we're ready for the day. Let's put our seatbelt on and get on the road. All right, let's give her. This clutch is a little bit more jumpy than my, my old Volvo was. Take her a little easier. She likes to be uh, treated a little more gently, you know? She's a little more of a sensitive girl. Oh, and of course, this is when all the traffic comes in. Oh, wait, no, they're going over there. Okay. Oh, oh, jumpy clutch. See what I mean? Gotta get used to this truck. This is the Thunder Bay shortcut. It's Highway 102. I think this is also Dawson Road. Flying around here. I'm gonna stop at the Flying J on the west side of the city. Uh, sort of between here and Nipigon. Grab a coffee. I thought I'd need to grab fuel, but this truck is so good on fuel. It's ridiculous. If my Volvo would have been this good on fuel, I would have had a lot more money in the bank, I'll tell you what. I'm driving it the same. I'm not even paying that much, as much attention to it. You know, I'm just sort of cruising along. I'm not like conscious of my fuel consumption every second of the day. And it's like right now it's at 27 liters per hundred kilometers. I would struggle with a, a good load that was, you know, about this weight, the same as this trailer I'm pulling here and, you know, streamlined, not dragging in the wind. I'd struggle for 35 liters per hundred kilometers. I mean, 27 in this thing and I'm not even trying. That's impressive. And this is a 2018 Peterbilt 579, and my Volvo was a 2014 Volvo uh, 670, I believe, VNL 670. And it had the D13 motor, and this has the Packard motor. I'm not too sure of all the specs on this motor yet. Whatever it is, it performs a lot better than the Volvo did. A lot better in every aspect. Can't speak for the new Volvos, but so far, this Peterbilt's winning me over very quick. Very quick. Here we are. I call it Thunder Bay. I think it's actually called Shania. I think that's the municipality that this is. I'm not sure. I don't need to grab fuel, surprisingly. Maybe if it was cold in wintertime, I would just top it up just to be safe, but man, we've burnt a quarter tank getting here. That's practically nothing. So we're just gonna go over here and find a parking spot. Run in, grab a coffee. How about that? Keep it simple, quick and simple, huh? Mosey on down the road. How about that? Just 
this place isn't the usual Flying J. I think I've shown you that before. As long as they got this, that's all that matters. So the last driver, or one of the last drivers anyways, that was in this truck was definitely a smoker. <laughs> I've been like hacking up. I feel like I'm a smoker myself already because this truck just stank like smoke. Probably wasn't even that bad to most people, but to me it's just like, huh. I don't have any problems with smokers themselves. A lot of my friends are smokers. It doesn't bother me at all that they smoke. I'm a very libertarian minded guy. If that's what you want to do with your life, have at it. I'm not even going to judge you. You just go do your thing. It's just, I would only get offended if they were to come to my house and smoke in my house, especially without asking, uh, or get in my vehicle and smoke in my vehicle without first asking. You know, if they ask me, maybe I'll be like, yeah, sure, whatever, just open the window and toss your cigarette, the like ashes, make sure they just get out the window. And most, most times I'll probably just be like, yeah, let's just pull over if you want to smoke. I really don't mind if people smoke. I just don't like the smell. And I've told Britt before in past vlogs that that was a deal breaker for me when I was dating. Uh, when I, when I was looking, looking on, on the market, you know, I was single, I, I wanted to uh, find a good girl to settle down with. And that was a deal breaker for me. I told her, I mean, if she was a smoker, we wouldn't be together today. That doesn't mean I don't like smokers. It's just that, you know, I want to be able to kiss my wife. I don't want to kiss an ashtray. It, it, that's what it tastes like to me because I'm not a smoker. I'm not judging you guys that smoke. You guys who want to smoke, go ahead. I don't think any less of you. I don't judge you. It's just in my own personal life and my own little personal little bubble. I'm not a big fan of it. And uh, I got to live in this truck right now and it stinks like smoke. It just stinks. I'm not even gonna lie, I'm not even gonna sugarcoat it. It stanks. So we got some air fresheners. See if we can freshen this baby up. It'll air out eventually, but. You do what you wanna do. I may not understand it, but you do what you wanna do. Anyways, let's clean this truck up. Diesel, where should I hang these things? One back here, one up there? What do you think? I don't know, man. My sniffer's gonna be smelling this stuff for ages, man. I know, I feel bad for you. You poor little sniffer, man. It's like a super-powered Swiffer. Yeah, exactly. area we ended up in aside from the beautiful sound of the traffic rolling past here and diesel's paws all I hear are the sounds of nature out there beautiful area to stop in Let's see if we can get down this is all marsh I don't think we can get down any further I wanted to walk out there
I guess I'll have to settle for just looking at it from a distance. It looks like that used to be like an old railway line over there, but the railway's gone. I guess I have to walk way around over there to get there. I don't feel like doing that. How about you, Diesel? You wanna go all the way around? We don't have that much time. We gotta keep rolling. We've taken quite a few breaks today already. Huh? No? Meh. Well, the next time you see me, we'll probably be rolling into Hearst. Uh, it's about another three and a half, four hours from here or so. We just turned on to Highway 11 uh, from Nipigon and making our way east. Got a long way to go yet. Anyone lose their fire extinguisher? I found it by the lake. That's odd. I hope someone didn't just throw that out here because it was old or used people. Diesel, come here. Look at this. Look at this. You're going to get caught up in that pole over there, man. You're going to caught up in that pole, man. No, you can't go any further. You got to go back around. Go back around, weasel. Come on, you're smart. I believe in you. Oh, good. Oh, you almost had it. You almost had it. Oh, come on. Go around, bud. There you go. No, don't get wrapped up in this one now. Hey, hey, Diesel. 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 Go around the pole. What are you doing? You never do this. Goofball. Well, now you're wrapped up in that one. Oh, jeez. What's going on here? What's going on here? What are you doing? What are you doing? You almost done? I'd like to make my way out to the destination for the day, bud. Oh, don't go down there, man. It's all wet down there. You find a good spot, man. You find a good spot and you leave a little present, man. I'm sure Mother Nature will be very grateful. Turn that into nice green grass. So I am in the future. Welcome to the future. I want to finish this vlog off for you guys. Uh, uh, I've been really enjoying this Peterbilt. Peter, Peterbilt. Been really enjoying it. It's been taking me a, a lot longer than I wanted to to settle down because I've been so busy. And that's good. Busy means money. Because busy means I'm driving miles and I'm getting paid by the mile now. I'm not getting paid by the load. So the more I'm moving, the more I'm making. Right now I'm not moving, but I have been. So I'm using my time right now to get caught up on my videos and stuff and talk to you guys a little bit. I'm not going to give away where I'm waiting, but you'll have to tune in in the future. Uh, actually, you guys know we're going to Newfoundland, right? Yeah, you know we're going to Newfoundland. <laughs> so I've already been and gone, but uh, I'm not going to tell you where we are. You got to watch the videos. That's, you see, that's how I rope you into watching my future videos. See? Shameless. Gotta watch my future videos. They're coming. I got one coming every day. I'm having a lot of fun out here. Uh, I really did miss uh, sort of the stress-free existence of doing what I'm doing now and the scenery I've been seeing now again that I haven't seen in years. And uh, I've, I've, I'm happy. I've, I'm really enjoying it. I think I made the right choice. So, instead of telling you again and again how happy I am, I'm going to tell you one more time. I'm happy. And I'm glad you're here with me. And uh, thank you for watching today's video. I appreciate it. If you did like it, the uh, biggest thing you can do for me is subscribe. If you haven't already, uh, it's free. It's down below the video. Subscribe there. We're uh, trying to get up to 100,000. If we get there, awesome. If not, it's cool too. I'm happy with all of you guys here. We've created a nice little community. And if uh, the channel decides to start growing, then it then it starts growing if if not then hey i'm just happy making videos on the internet that i can look back on one day and say wow i was a weird guy who am i kidding i'm still gonna be weird when i'm old so i'll talk to you tomorrow in tomorrow's video because you're gonna be here right i'm not sure when it's gonna go live but uh it's coming i'll see you then oh also hey shameless self-promotion here if you guys, uh, I know we're all going through a hard time right now, but if you guys do want some Trucker Josh merch, uh, the links are down below the video. Every one of my videos. I don't talk about it much, but they're down below there every video. I'm sure you've seen them. If not, now you know. They're down there. You can get a shirt if you want and show off that you watch Trucker Josh. If you want to wait to see if you like my future content first, I, I understand that. We'll see what happens then. I'll remind you in a week. How about that? We'll talk to you later. Take care. Stay safe.